Hi everyone, I am E. Bishpoli, Department of English, KSO College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangur. And in this video, we are going to talk about modern ages and uh, uh, the modernism. We already know that the modern age which started from 1900 to 1930 and it is a completely global trend in the culture. And also it affects the intellectual elite. That means the only ones having the possibility to appreciate it at uh, that very time. And also the modernism which rejects the paradigm of Victorian ages, it completely against the Victorian age. And also the modernism searches a new place for the man in the world. At the end of the 19th century, there was a global crisis of values and also the people, they started to ask question towards uh, uh, everything and also dispersion of positivism comes. They believe that neither God nor individual consciousness could still give meaning to the men. And also in the modern ages, uh, traditional values were crumpled out by the revolutionary discoveries of the period and uh, romantic codes were no longer valid and also they were two natives. And modernism was the response to culture too because some of them believe that the modernism is only applicable for literature but whereas uh, the modernism comes even uh, culture itself. And there was a lot of theory emerges like a Darwin theory of evaluation and interstitial revelations comes and also the mass society theory also comes and even the Einstein's relativity theory also creates one of the impact to the literature and Birkinson's theories on the time it is also one of the theory and Freud's and Jung's psychological studies also uh, emerges due to that reason uh, Freud who is considered as the father of English psychology and also uh, Netsky on the one who believes that God is dead and uh, if you go for the futures of modern age the no universal valid theories uh, uh, because uh, they believe that only innovation and individual search for order and impersonality were common futures and according to aesthetism uh, they believe that art was only the response for the art if you go for romantic people they think that art is a completely it is a artistic form but whereas they gave much importance for art but whereas they uh, give the reasonable uh, and reason is that is in they called art was only the response for the art and also the simplest and images adapted dry and uh, hard style to other the reality and simples becomes a way to summarize the meaning and there was a lot of social orders uh, emerges even uh, uh, the writers they gave uh, much importance for uh, uh, form they think that content is useless and uh, there was a retaken of enlightenment uh, rationality against romantic sentimentalism. Even the elite referred difficulty of style and uh, eclipse of narrator and readers importance is giving meaning and uh, there was a lot of myth and anthropology comes uh, uh, namely the golden buff and the from ritual to romances and the mo in modern age there was a new kind of novel emerges like a uh, neo dramatic novel. And if you go for modern age novel, we are not able to admit some of the writers like T.S. Eliot and uh, James Joyce. Uh, T.S. Eliot who wrote a lot of poetry about modern age and also his work uh, The Wasteland which is uh, uh, completely uh, talk about the how the modern age is polluted, how the modern people is polluted and also whose uh, concept the objective correlative which which is completely the framework of myth and anthropology and after that Ezra Pound is another one more writer who was uh, created a lot of the works and WB Eats uh, James, James Joyce is another one more writer who wrote a lot of the fictions and uh, who introduced a lot of terms to literature like Epipani and interior monologue uh, and also his famous work is Ulysses and if you go for uh, Virginia Woolf uh, who was famous for novel and also his famous work Doll Away and To the Lighthouse and uh, in next video we talk about the another ages thank you